Subscribe to get carried and click on the bell icon for more updates. Veg kola puri is the one dish you're likely to find on almost every restaurant menu across the country. Today I'm going to show you how to make this spicy and aromatic vegetable dish at home very quickly and easily. For this recipe, first I'm going to start with dry roasting some spices. So I have my wok heating here. To this, I'm going to start with adding two dried Kashmiri red chilies. One bay leaf, one tablespoon of coriander seeds, a few strands of mace, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, four sticks of cinnamon, four cloves, and about five fenugreek seeds. Just give that a stir in the pan and roast these on a medium flame. I'm going to add the seeds of three green cardamom pods, one black cardamom. Just bash these up slightly and add these to the pan as well. Just stir these around and just dry roast them. These spices are nice and fragrant, so at right at the end is when you need to add two tablespoons of dried coconut, one teaspoon of white sesame seeds, and half a teaspoon of poppy seeds. The reason why we're adding these in the end is because these will roast very quickly. So now everything has turned nice and golden. So I'm just going to turn the flame off and allow these spices to cool. I've ground up the spices into a beautiful coarse powder and I'm just going to set this aside and start cooking the veg kola puri. I'm going to start with heating about 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil has heated up, I'm just going to add one onion that's been chopped really finely and just fry this till it turns golden. The onions are nice and golden, so I'm just gonna add one teaspoon each of ginger paste and garlic paste. And just quickly saute this. The raw smell of the ginger and garlic has gone, so I'm just gonna add about a quarter cup of finely chopped coriander. Now to this, I'm going to add the puree of four tomatoes. One teaspoon of red chilli powder. Just about a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Just stir that in. Now I'm going to add the masala powder that we had made. Stir this in. And now I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. The masala has cooked really well. So now I'm going to add one cup of water to this. Stir it in. And now to this beautiful spicy mixture, I'm going to add all our vegetables. Now these vegetables have all been steamed in advance. It's important that you cut them all to the same size so they, they steam at the same time. So I'm going to add about half of a small cauliflower which has again been steamed. About a quarter cup of French beans. One carrot. One potato. and about one third cup of peas. And one capsicum, 
This is the only vegetable that I've not steamed in advance so that it retains its crispiness. Just stir that in. Now I'm adding some salt to taste. This is the final stage of adding salt. And again, just stir it in. I've let the veg kola puri simmer on a medium flame and you can see that it's nice and bubbling and the oil has separated. So I'm just going to turn this off because it's ready to serve. Forget ordering this at restaurants like I've shown you, veg kola puri is so easy to make at home. So when you do try this recipe, leave a comment telling us what you thought of it. And for more such recipes, subscribe to Get Curried.